How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. A little bit of side by side hopeful goodness in the form of Anchorage Brewing. It be their Team Dog. That's this guy versus Team Cat. I had a cat for many, many years called Peanut Butter. Um, she was awesome. As anybody who has met Peanut Butter will attest. Uh, if you watch a good deal of my old reviews, um, and by old reviews, I mean the ones that, like, I, when I first started, he, she makes quite the cameo in several videos. Uh, she would, sometimes in the middle of doing a beer video, she would jump up on the table, kind of walk back and forth. And so a couple times she actually started napping in, in view of camera. So, uh, I, peanut butter is awesome. You know what I mean? She was a very cool cat. Unfortunately, I lost her, um, only a couple months ago. Um, but I am a dog person. I will say that through and through. Uh, dogs have owned my heart since I was a kid, um, and they own my heart now. I didn't... We have another cat here, uh, but it's an outdoor cat. It's a barn cat, basically. Um, and uh, but it lives indoors, too. It's not a strictly outdoor cat. Um, but, um, but yeah, I saw these come through. These come from Mike. Uh, he put a box together on Devor on his own dime and sent it off to me. And I saw these come through, and the art design, the whole dog versus cat things, got me kind of my art, my uh, my interest peaked. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little side by side in these because they're relatively similar beers. So you know, you have this little uh, little little dog dude there, little dog mascot, you know, little girl there, or the woman uh, with little. Cat mask on. Um, and like I said, these are both IPAs. Uh, they're relatively low ABV, 6.4. Um, I assume they came out exactly at the same time. It looks like one came out on the 12th, one came out on the 15th um, of February. This is the 13th, so they're one month old, uh, March 2021. They're both 6.4%, and Team and Dog, okay. Team Dog is uh, a double dry hopped with Strata hops finished on tangerines. Now we have uh, over here in Team Cat, we have uh, Galaxy Strata and Mutueka hops. So very similar, but very distinct, different beers. You're talking about that tangerine finish. I think how that's going to play in this beer will be quite unique. Um, <clears throat> that art design, this is, I dig this. This is some of the better art I've seen on IPs as of late. And it's Anchorage too, man. Uh, you know, you don't, not that I, they don't make those beers, but when I think of Anchorage Brewing, I think of big beer. I think of, you know, Deal with the Devil, a barley wine, stuff like that. Not necessarily a 6% dry hopped hazy. Maybe that's because I live about as, almost as far away from them as I possibly can. So I don't see their beers all that much. So, um, yeah, I got the, uh, well, Mike giving me the uh, Anchorage tour, which is pretty cool. Don't pour too much. That's my, a lot of times on these tiny glasses, because I got to match, I got to match glasses. If I don't do that, my brain won't um, be happy. Um, <laughs> they, uh, let's get it in frame. And uh, I pour too much and I can't get a nose. I mean, they look identical, identical. Uh, I mean, you know, that orange core with a little bit of cat cataracty edges, I might lean just a skosh darker over here. Um, that could be kind of a fruit, tangerine pulpy thing, kind of um, bringing, a, it could be just the fruit edition. It could be when you put fruit in there, you might have a little bit more kind of uh, a different kind of sugars or ferments differently. You could have bringing oxygen into play from the organic matter that makes this slightly darker from an oxidation standpoint. It could be a couple different things, but in the grand scheme of things, they are relatively the same. So let's go over here. Like I said, Strata tangerines I mean it just smells like tangerines honestly um, and uh, it, it, they're putting those words in my mouth that word tangerine if I didn't read that and if they didn't say if they said dose with citrus fruit I would just go citrus on this I'm saying tangerine because that's what it says on here it's more of a generic kind of orangey leaning kind of citrus fruit not much as far as bittering and a sweetness to it not overly aggressive nose but appropriate for its ABV level it smells really nice, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's get over here. Galaxy Strata and Motueka. See, it's very similar. Over here is almost exactly the same nose. The big difference over here 
it's a little less pop from that citrus side of things. So that tangerine must be making a large impact over here. And when you're talking about some of these New Zealand hops and galaxy and stuff like that, I expect a little bit more tropical fruit, maybe even a little bit kind of oniony, scallony, greeny stuff. Um, but it is really just a softer nose version of what we have going on over here. But maybe a little bit more kind of fruit medley across the board, where this one is probably that little bit of fruit medley, but leaning heavily into that kind of orange tangerine kind of category. They smell, don't smell pretty nice. Let's dive into this one. Cheers. Man, there's some tangerines up in there. Good God. That is crazy tangerine. There's a nice bittering too. There's a greenness to it. A little bit of carbonic acid, but nothing too heavy. Just propping up a little bit of that bitterness. Man, there's so much tangerine here. That's why I'm looking at the can, because I'm like, is it finished on tangerines? This says finished on tangerines. It doesn't say finish on finished with tangerine flavoring or something like that. It's so vibrant the way that tangerine comes off that you automatically kind of skew towards like a tincture or like a dose or the powder they put in like the Flintstone vitamins kind of tangerine. That's the way this kind of comes off. But hey, they're saying it's rest on tangerines. That's where it's coming from. Boy or oh boy, is it vibrant. Very spritzy, very much like if you go to peel in a tangerine, you get that little from the, from the tangerine. It's like that kind of uh, kind of impact on it. Very vibrant, very nice. I think it's really tasty. The bittering you get from this, while there is a decent amount from the um, from hops, that carbonic acid kind of just attaches that and props up a little bit more as a, like a cool kind of back and forth between the two beers, or the, uh, two flavors, I mean. I think that's really, really fun. I'm really curious to see how this non-fruit dosed one comes off. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's really cool, actually. This is a really fun side by side. Thank you very much, Mike. Um, I would say it's trying to get as explosively impactful from a fruit medley like we talked about in a nose over here. It cuts it a little bit short, but I'm impressed about how much of the hops are showing bigger over here as opposed to how much of the hops are showing over here with that tangerine kind of taking the lead. Now, it could be just that perfect marriage between that strata hop and a tangerine and they're teaming up and just becoming super citrus forward whereas over here there is a bigger green element to it there's a little bit like i said more fruit medley um i would go like under ripened mango peach with that citrus going on over here a very very cool kind of side by side because you can actually feel the mouthfeel on both of them are almost identical. This one might be a little bit softer. It's probably the tangerine edition, bringing that down. Um, but they're still quite nice. The way they drink, as far as the malt base goes, absolutely pinpoint exactly the same beer. So that's what, when I said these are almost coming out at the same time they had to. They made the exact same beer, split it up. Half there, half there. That's pretty much what they did. I'm assuming this is canned two days later. Either it was a canning schedule thing or three days later. Or they just wanted it to ferment out a little bit longer because of the fruit or something like that. I don't know. I doubt, I was going to say I doubt these are the same ABV. They're probably close to 6.4, but I can't detect the difference, so I don't even know why I'd mention that. Um, but it's a really cool to have that, you know, temp water base the way it's exact, that malt base the way it's exact. Everything's pretty much exact except for that addition of hops and hops and fruit over here and how starkly different they are but at the same time, very, very similar. It's almost like you, you ever see like twins that aren't identical, but you're like, I can't tell the difference. You know, it's, that's the kind of thing going on here where there are subtle differences, but you know, at the core, they're very, very, very much similar. Very cool. Very cool going back and forth on these. I still can't get over how big the tangerine is there. So we got to do the old poor man's cuvee. I think this is going to be a winner. Cheers. Yeah. I like them both individually better. Because I think it, 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 it that tangerine drops out a decent amount. And then you're left with 
like a little bit more of kind of a generic across the board hoppiness like the hoppiness level in here and this distinctness of that drops as does the tangerine drops and it becomes a little bit more neutral so individually these beers drink way better uh, don't mix them together you gotta you have to do it when you do side by sides it's law it's internet law actually i'll get i'll get arrested if i don't don't do it anyway um yeah super fun side by side and uh, let's put it this way really good beers um and that was kind of lost a little bit in the review because it's i'm sitting here trying to uh, dissect so much about each beer and talk about differences and do all that kind of thing is that I, I i'm sure it came off in the video just from me drinking them but there's a really good beer there's listen 6.4 percent well-made hazy it's kind of my language that's kind of where i love my abv level to be i know i bitch and moan about beers at high abv levels and sometimes i say i wanted to be four i don't mind six and low six change slow sixes i don't mind that i mind sevens and eights and nines and tens and elevens and twelves when it's this kind of style of beer so this is the beer these are the beers that i enjoy but i also think that comes with that uh is an expectation of i expect m the seven and eight percent level of impact at that abv because i know it can be done and that's what Anchorage does here. They accomplish that. They make a really well done uh, beer. Um, like I said, tangerine popping over here. A little bit more carbonic over here than over here. But still, it's, it wasn't at a level that really irritates me. And just makes a, a fun ultimate side by side. Because that's what this beer is supposed to be, I think. Hey, team Dog, Team Cat. I think you're supposed to drink these beers side by side. At least that's in their brains what they think people should do. And it's a fun experience. So if you have these, if you're going to get these... I implore you to do so because it's pretty damn fun and tasty nonetheless. All right, these two are the better lower ABV IPAs that I've had as of late. Yes. Mount Rushmore status. I don't know. Close. Worthy. Let's put it that way. Um, very tasty stuff. I probably had stuff that's turned me on a little bit better, to be perfectly honest with you, but tasty beers nonetheless. Valued availability, no idea. Mike, let me know what you paid for these and anybody else. If you know uh, what these typically go for for street price, as opposed to Tavor price, um, please let me know. Um, it'd be pretty cool. And if you've had these, comment down below. Uh, it's something I've, I've forgotten to ask for years and years um, about, you know, share your experience with this beer. And I think that's always gone kind of um, understood uh, when it comes to these beers, but I really want to push that now. Start a little bit more of a conversation about the beers rather than, you know, just me spitting into the camera and leave you with if you like what we like these if you like low chuggable lowish abv chuggable hazies made really really well and you like doing side by sides i mean i implore you to do these side by side because it's a really fun really fun exercise for with really fun beers so if you like doing those things you like these there you go review over down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting things Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of Anchorage right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.